Ich Vibrate. Using a vibrate rod. Not even using a cymbal. I'm gonna save that for when she's stubborn on the back. Hey, good girl. So I tap then. She's felt the vibrations. She looked up at me. I started vibrating through the through the reward app. <laughs> even now, she's looking at me. I'm gonna vibrate the collar just for a further reward. So, the stim is on 10, I'm not using the stim, we're just using the tone slash vibrate one. Good! So while Edie is only small, her owner is an, an older lady in her 80s, I think. And Edie is too strong on the lead, uh, especially when she's got scent. Very, uh, very good hunt drive. When I first started working with her, uh, she was absolutely obsessed with wanting to get to uh, the chickens and rabbits that we have. Uh, so we, we we did critter training on that basis. So we used a uh, uh, high aversive stim when she went to charge after them. And that, that knocked that on the head and then dropped down to a very low stim level that we're using at the moment. Uh, using negative reinforcement. Here we go. I'm on the vibrate button here. Oh, that's a good girl! So it's not just about the food. Yes, when you're doing this type of work, especially in the beginning, her only way she eats is by hand. So she's potting around the garden or she's in the living room or something and you call her to you in the kitchen when she comes in. Oh, let's give her a bit of privacy. She gets uh, a handful of food because she's hungry. She's not eating out of her bowl. She's not getting fed regular time slots. It's been sort of dribbled to her throughout the day. So she's kept always peckish every time she feels a collar. It means there's going to be a handful of food. The quicker she starts making her way to the owner, the quicker the annoying vibration stops. But now the vibration has actually got positive association. And uh, the quicker the reward is delivered. I can't change the nature of this dog. I can't make her so that she switches off when she comes across field mice, etc, etc, etc. The owner says that she has a bad, bad tendency for snails and she's worried about health implications because she eats a lot of snails apparently but she can't stop her so my thoughts are we may just I have three functions I can do on this and if I can set the boost 
So I've got my tone when she's willing, low level uh, stem, which is stronger than the tone um, at level 10. Only just. And uh, some dogs would disagree and find the vibration actually uh, stronger than the level 10, but easy it's that way. And then I think when I see the owner can monitor whenever she goes to put a nose on a snail she gives a, a much higher stem we'll see anyway she's getting near that junction so i'm going to call her back edie hello good girl it's a little bit slower there she's a little bit sent she was like oh come but good girl i'm going to change the water a little bit a big handful there oh and again so if i'm throwing the food out she wants to play but if i just offer it to her no nope, i'll leave it so that mixing prey drive and food drive to make the reward event as powerful as possible. The bigger my carrot, the smaller my stick. The more she wants to come back to me, the more I'm ready to tell her. So this is interesting. She's eating crap here and I want to tell her to stop it. So I'm going to, ah, 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 ah. So as I made my negative verbal marker, ah, ah, I, I added the low level stem and that was enough to tell her, hey, move on. Recall back to a little game now. Edie! Edie! Yeah, that's a good girl. So you can hear the clicking then, I think. Hey, oh. And now we're out, now we're out amongst the uh, all the smells and stuff. She's uh she's not like she was in the training room. So we've got the laboratory effect in the training room out here in the nightclub of the world away from our lab, our library. She's finding the competing motivators stronger than the food game. So you saw how much she enjoyed the food game in the training room. It's a perfect example of her natural instincts, the, the joy she gets from just hunting and following scent outweighs how much fun she was having in that training room. Because she knows that the game can be delivered out here. She's played it many times. So I actually think if I come across a rabbit or something, I may lose her. So I'm going to turn that stem up. She's a fair bit stronger by quite a lot, up to 14. And I know she won't like that because she's a sensitive lass. But again, when in drive, that sensitivity disappears and you get your stone cold predator. She doesn't know she's ickle, she thinks she's a bloody lion. And when she's got the smell of blood, that's that. No amount of coochie coos or cross fingers is gonna help you. Get this tray with a bit of vibration. ED! Good, yeah, super. Edie, Edie, good girl. Well done. Well done. Yeah. So you could say, well, keep this dog on lead. Simple. Well, the owner has a really, really nice property. And like I said, the owner is an older lady, so she doesn't want to go walking for long distances, etc., etc. Really, she needs to stay to the even flat ground, with the pathways around the property, and easy trots around with her. That's, that's, a, you know, that's the idea. If we stick a lead on Edie, Edie will pull against it. Especially when she comes into scent. Harness, flat collar, she's just gonna pull like a freight train. And you've got a lady in her 80s, you know, you could get pulled over, trip, fall, break a hip, 
it's just not an option. So by having this invisible lead, it gives Edie a quality of life. That safety there to be able to control her. Protect her. So you know what does this what does this elderly lady do? If the if the band was to come in. She'd be totally lost. And then Edie would never be allowed out. And when she's allowed out, I can't see her going out very much if she's gonna be on a on a, on a lead all the time. She will walk on a lead. We have found ways of doing that. But this is much nicer for her. So you tell me how animal welfare works when you're going to take this away from her. They let Edie disappear. Turn up the collar. The collar's on vibrate. 14 is a, in case she ignores me. <laughs> She's caught an on. She's like, come on, Andy. What are you doing? And call it back. Good girl, Edie. So you may be wondering, hey, how come, how come you know, you're not calling her name every time you're doing it? Because she, she, we've done lots and lots of that. Um, what I'm doing is I'm double checking. So I don't see her all that regularly. I'm just double checking that she still understands the collar, knows how to turn it off. It's responding to the vibrate. Even there, the, the, I've seen it before where I haven't had contact on a dog's skin. And uh, the dog was actually turning around and coming back to me because it could hear that I'd stopped walking. So lots of people stop walking and then they do it. Well, this dog had cottoned on. Every time I stop walking, the dog would come back to me. Or the dog hears the clicking of the, uh, the clicking of the buttons. And that enough can be conditioned to food and the dog goes, ah, oh, okay, you click it. And then they wonder how come the dog's blowing off sometimes and not other times. And then sometimes he's getting a stim if we can. Because they don't have contact. So I'm gonna and tap this as quietly as possible. I'll put the receiver in my pocket actually to reduce her chance and just go, go again. Wait till she walks on again. Good girl, super. Yeah, so I kept on walking. I couldn't hear it myself when it was uh, at the bottom of my pocket and I was pressing the button. So she's definitely feeling that and responding. So she's been a nice big handful there and then, oh! And there's the joy, it's not the food so much, it's that chase, catch, kill. It's a predatory behaviour that gets her into trouble. If I try and just work against all the time, it's going to be conflict and she's going to be in misery because that's what she's biologically designed to do. She's the perfect hunting machine. She can't not be. So, um, so embrace her. Chase, catch, kill. And that's why she's straight back, because she's like, do it again, do it again. All right, let's go. memory is terrible. Have I used the stim on this hawk? Don't think I have. I know it was set on level 10 originally, but then I was a bit worried about it because there are deer. There are deer everywhere around us. Uh, and lots of other things much smaller. So I turn it on to 40, but yeah, I haven't used the stim, so I'm just on vibrate. So now I'm going to put a name to it as well. Edie! Good, good girl, Edie. Hey. Yeah, Edie. Yeah. 
and on the grass that'll keep you busy. Oh, she didn't see where that landed. There you go. Look at that. Good job. So it's not really even on walks because the owner doesn't doesn't go on long walks like this. Again, she's got a beautifully kept garden, uh, really good size. Boundaries a little dodgy though, but Edie generally isn't known for going out of the boundary. She's more like I'll oh, just hang in the garden. But then when the owner does try and call her. Uh, the owner reports that she's just running from one end of the garden to another chasing mice and picking up snails and, and just ignoring her. Edie! Good girl. Hey, come on. Oh, it's a natural treat. Raw delivery. Yeah, so we changed our, our, our raw food supply. So we were using Tammy's, um, they're okay. Uh, it was cheap, it was really cheap and for a business, you know, money's everything and years ago, God, we were, we were strapped. So we were with Tammy's. I've seen them make it, you know, I've seen them get out of the van, fresh from the put it through the grinder, but it always seems, I don't know, like dogs could struggle sometimes to put enough weight on with it and stuff. So um, anyway, Tammy's, Tammy's for whatever reason have stopped trading. And uh, so we went with na nature's treats, natural treats in Moksham. And uh, I gotta say, it's a way more expensive, but it's really good quality. Um, the dogs love it. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. And, and you don't need as much because it's richer, a little bit denser. So, and a lot more variety of different types of meats. Um, next day delivery, same day delivery, I think if you're lucky, but I, I, I always get next day delivery. Um, it takes me two minutes to, all, to do a reorder for the kennels. Yeah, so pick up, uh, pick up the, the raw supply. coming is that does not get turned into a pancake no that's good really I should have recalled her back to me that was a bit negligent of me whoops oh, that's a company natural treats bristol See fantastic service. I think I'm more Melkshire based, I don't know. But a uh, friend recommended them, been using them a couple of months now. Really, really happy. Uh, let's give her a call back. Edie! Good, good girl. Edie! Girl. Come on in. Hello, are you angry? Yeah. Oh, 